To all my viewers, I'm Mark Kwan of Sonic Garp here with a tutorial on Audacity on how to merge multiple audio tracks into one and also how to remove unnecessary audio. If you don't have Audacity installed on your computer, you'll all need to download the program from the official site at audacity.com, which is free and compatible with any Windows or Mac computer. Once you have downloaded and installed the program, you will need to open it up. So. The program will be on your desktop and open it up. So my hands right here and double click on it to open it up. No. Okay. When recording, you may have recorded something, then stop, then record, start recording again. When doing this, what it does, it creates another track below the previous one. By then saving the Audacity file as a WAV or MP3 format and not putting the multiple tracks onto a single track, it will merge the track together, but when you play back the audio file, you will hear audio over audio, which will sound weird. In this case, I will teach you how to fix your recording. So, the first thing you need to do is open up the Audacity file of your recording. So, go to File, which is in the top left corner, and click Open at the bottom. And then, yeah. next, a window will appear on your screen. Click the drop down menu located at the top of the window beside the words look in. Click the drop down menu up here beside the words look in. Okay. Once you have clicked the, on the drop down menu, you will now have to locate wherever you have saved your Audacity recording file. So you have to locate it. So mine's in my, my documents where I saved it. So yeah. Once you have located your Audacity file recording, Open it up. So mind right here. So double click to open it. Okay. After opening your file, you will see multiple tracks with weird looking lines on them. These are the lines here, the blue lines. Those lines are called waveforms. What they are is the audio and based on if one part of the wave peaks up high, like like uh, this one here peaks up high, that means that the part of the audio is going to be loud and if a part of the waveform peaks down, like uh, here, um, down, that means the audio is going to be quiet. So yeah, so like this part looks bigger and high, up high, it means it's going to be louder, so like this one is like peaking lower, or right here, it's going to be more quiet than that part, so yeah. We will first be working on the second track, which is this one here, and not this one, we'll be working on the left track. Since everything below the first track will be copied and pasted in the first track, yeah. Small and long waveforms in your audio indicate that there is silence in the recording, such as um, if you go at the end of the second track, you see the long part here, it's like small long, that means that there's no audio there, or it's like quiet or silent there, and you don't need that, those parts. Recording. We don't want those there, so we need to remove all of the silent parts since those parts are unnecessary in your final project. So we need to remove these parts. Working with the audio below the first one, first track, click on that selection tool at the top left corner. So here, the selection tool, if you hover over it. If it's not selected then, uh, 
If it's not selected, then you hover over it. It will say selection tool. So we'll click on it. So we're going to use it. Yeah. And also it looks like a capital I. Like a capital I. Yeah. After selecting it, you will need you will now be going to the second track. You will see the some parts of the waveform looks small and straight. As I explained before, like uh, the one here highlighted looks small and straight. Select one of those parts by left clicking on the mouse. So you left click and then left click on the mouse where that part starts, then dragging your mouse to the right until you get to where it ends and letting go of the mouse button. So you click, you left click on the part where it starts. So it starts right here and then around that area, you don't have to be exact, but there. And then you left click there on your mouse and drag it to the right. So I'm going to drag it to the right and I'm going to stop here because that's where it ends and then I'm going to let go of the mouse button. Now you will see that that part of the waveform is darker than the rest. See this part uh, really um, bluish gray and it's called like just gray like yeah. See how it's darker than this part and, and the rest. That means that part has been highlighted. So yeah, it's been highlighted. Next press the delete button on your keyboard which will get rid of the part highlight. So I'm gonna click my delete button on my keyboard, click it once, so yeah. if needed repeat, if needed repeat this step for the other tracks you may have, even the first track, so I'll do this for the rest of my life, alright, I'll do the same for other tracks. I'll do the highlight, delete it. So just like all the unnecessary areas you don't need, you don't want. Just highlight it. And also do this for the first track. Even yeah. First waveform. I'm just gonna do this quick since yeah, I'm just gonna do this quick. I'm not